difference between sampling bias and sampling error with the help of examples. Sampling bias Sampling bias is a result of choosing a sample that is not random or representative of the entire population. It occurs when a systematic investigation's data sample does not fairly reflect the data that can be obtained in the research setting. Sampling bias occurs when the data is collected in a way that causes some members of the target population to have a lower or greater sampling probability than others. It is a common error because it frequently occurs unintentionally that is without a researcher's knowledge. Many times your research methodology and research design might introduce sample bias into your data collection process, changing the results of your research. Example of sampling bias. One crew stated that they did not enjoy walk, so they abandoned their list of randomly chosen clusters and decided to solely weigh and measure the kids who lived in the nearby villages. The survey crew had to weigh and measure the numerous children in several communities at the insistence of the leader. These data were incorporated into the survey by the survey team. The leader's children are undoubtedly better off than most youngsters. Due to this, the prevalence of malnutrition would likely be understated as a result. The survey team neglected to include households that belong to an ethnic minority when compiling lists in a number of villages. People in this minority group frequently face discrimination and are generally prohibited from using the village borehole. Instead, they have to get their water from ponds or streams close by. This would result in an underestimation of the frequency of recent diarrhea. Since people in ethnic minorities, particularly children, are likely more exposed to organisms that cause diarrhea. Sampling error Sampling error is the difference between a survey's result and population value as a result of the sample's random selection of people or household. It is a difference between the chosen sample's traits, behaviors, qualities or figures and the population's actual characteristics, traits, behaviors or figures. In contrast to bias, sampling error can be anticipated, calculated and taken into consideration. Measures of Sampling Error There are various ways to measure sampling error. P-values Standard Error Confidence Intervals Coefficient of Variance These measures are used to Calculate sample size prior to sampling Determine how sure we are of result after analysis Sampling bias versus sampling error. Sampling bias occurs if you select the wrong sample so that it's not representative. Whereas sampling error occurs if you have a small sample size resulting in poor precision. Sampling bias can be estimated precisely after the fact. While sampling error can be controlled by choosing the right sampling technique and the sample size. Sampling bias cannot be measured exactly. On the other hand, sampling error can be estimated precisely after the fact. In sampling bias, careful attention is necessary for prevention and control. While in sampling error, careful attention is unavoidable if less than 100% of the population is sampled. Example of sampling bias. One team misunderstood the instructions and decided to include children up to 10 years old, rather than just those between 6 to 9 months old. Example of sampling error Sampling error occurs if the confidence intervals were wide due to small sample size. Thank you for watching this video. Comment, share, and subscribe.